Hey, this is Chris with Call Loop, and I'm really excited to share with you how to double your webinar or teleseminar sales with SMS text messaging. And this video focuses on our Instapage integration. So if you're using Instapage for your registration pages, your landing pages, thank you pages, uh, you'll learn how to integrate Call Loop to capture a mobile phone number so you can send text messages, voice broadcasts to drive people to attend your event, which will help you drive more attendance and therefore help you make more sales. So what we uh, focus on here is really creating a two-step process. So from Instapage, you would have a registration page and then you'd have a thank you page. So what we found is to capture the email address on step one, and then I'll reveal to you in step two what to do, but in step one, we always wanna capture the email address first. A lot of people may put a first name, an email address, a company, and a phone number, and the more fields you have on your registration page, the lower the conversion rate. So from your registration page, you wanna just have at the minimum an email address and maybe a name. So capture that email or that lead first. Now on step two, which is the thank you page, you want to capture the phone number, the mobile phone number. So we can then capture that information, put them into call loop, send them a text message confirmation, and then send them a text message reminder before the webinar actually starts or before the teleseminar starts. So let's dive into Instapage. I wanna show you how to set this up so you can drive more sales from your events. Okay, so now from Instapage, we want to create our thank you page. So after somebody registers for our webinar or teleseminar, we have a thank you page. So if I just go to thank you page right here, I can select one of these thank you pages. So maybe let's go down here to uh, this one here. You're all set, okay? So I'm just gonna click this and Instapage will allow me to create this. So I'll put webinar, thank you, okay? So I'll click continue and we'll get started. All right, so now that we have this set up, what we need to do is we need to add a field to this form, which will be our cell phone or the mobile phone that someone will fill out. So in the top left, you click add new and you'll see a bunch of different uh, things that you can do here. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on form and we can simply just drag this form down. Now this one, let's go ahead and simply just delete this, okay? So I'll just move this down and now I need to edit this. So this name, I'm just gonna delete that this email one, I will change this to mobile phone number for, let's say, SMS reminder, okay? Save it, and if I click button text, um, I can't necessarily edit this, so I have to go up to the top left, and we'll see button style, and we can change that button, so get an SMS reminder, okay? So that is that. If you want to edit the style, you can do that as well. So edit, you'll see form style, redirect, and integration. So in redirect, you could redirect them to another page on Instapage or an outside URL. Um, I'm just gonna maybe select this and you know we can just select another page or just keep them on this, uh, this current page. All right, so now this is the integration. So if we click integrations, you're gonna see all these different integrations here. So this one called webhooks, this is the one we want to click. So if we click webhooks, I'm going to add a new account and it's gonna ask me for a webhook. And if you don't see add an account, it's just gonna send you here. So now let's head over to call loop and we're gonna create a group and then we're gonna create our integration. All right, so we are in call loop. The next step we wanna do is we want to create a group and this group, I'll just call this Instapage, okay? Instapage, you have these options. On integration, we wanna click this and we're gonna click custom HTTP post and that's it. So click create a group and call loop will give us this URL. So we're gonna copy this, okay? 
And now we're going to head back to Instapage. And I'm going to post this in, or paste that in. I'm going to click Login, which whatever that is. I'll click Continue. It's going to ask me for a code. I'm going to say Skip. We're going to Send by Post. And then it's going to say, all right, here's the field we're sending over. What is the name in call loop? And what you want to do is put all in lowercase phone, OK? And click Continue. And that's it. So I'll save this, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead, and you can edit this, right? So thanks, for, you know, thank you for joining the webinar or registering for the webinar. Um, to receive an SMS text message reminder 15 minutes before the webinar starts, please enter your mobile phone number below. Okay, so that's it. So let's go ahead. We're going to save this. It's going to save the page. I'm going to publish this. And I'll choose anyway. And let's just go ahead. And let's just call this Insta page CL. Okay, I'll publish that. Whatever your web page is, perfect. So now that that is published, let's go ahead check this page out, and there it is. So now I can enter in a phone number. Okay, I'll click Get an SMS reminder. Thank you. Let's go to Call Loop. Let's refresh this, and there it is. So now one contact has been added. One thing I did not do is actually create the follow-up. So after somebody registers, we want to make sure that we send them a confirmation. So I'm just going to call this confirmation. We want to send this immediately, OK? And. Okay, so here's the message. So thank you for registering. You are now confirmed. You'll receive a text message 15 minutes before the webinar starts. So that's the immediate message they're going to get after they uh, register. We'll turn this on, and so that's it. So now if we have this webinar going on a later date, we want to create a broadcast to go 15 minutes before it starts to send to everybody that has joined this group. So I will go to Messages, Broadcasts, and we're going to create a broadcast for that date. So let's just call this 15 minutes reminder. And we want to schedule this, right? If our webinar is, let's say, the 25th, and it starts at 2 o'clock, well, let's go at 1.45, which is 15 minutes before, we're going to create this broadcast. and. We'll type in our message. And you could type something like this. So we'll create that broadcast. And this is a text broadcast. So the only thing we'll need to do now is we need to queue this up. So I'll click queue. I will turn, uh, turn it on by clicking yes. And now this broadcast is activated and scheduled to be sent on that particular day and time. So everybody that joins, you could have you know, 300, 500, 1,000 people joining. And at that time and day, they're all going to get that broadcast. Now, you can go through and actually create a voice broadcast as well. Um, but this just shows you how to create a text message broadcast. So that is it on the Instapage side. And uh, you're all set. So thanks so much.